What's changed? Why is that okay four or five years ago, but now that's considered voter suppression? One, you're assuming the Democrats. <laughs> Uh -huh. oh, I, uh, okay, so one of the things that, uh, for, for, that I would like to highlight is you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Yes, we're, you know, yes, we are pushing way back on Golden Week, and, and, and a lot of that has to do, you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. They need to know that it is not okay to take away access to the polls. And, and the, this whole notion of, oh, it's just a week, well, what if they then say, oh, well, we're just taking away all weekends? Or what if they decide to go even further? And it would be terribly surprising that they just tuck it in another bill. And who would be surprised here if they tucked it into an amendment that they did at 11 o'clock at night? I mean, I, and so, yes, there's a lot of pushback on, on this, this, this one week. And you might say, oh, it's just one week. It's, as you put it, just 16,000 people <coughs> in 2012. But at the end of the day, this one week is very important. The, the, uh, for example, homeless advocates use this to actually register the people that are mo but, you know, living in just incredible poverty, the people that would have the most difficulty getting to the polls and registering. They take them, they do it all at the same time. And I know for us, you know, we, it, it seems like just forever. But when you think about that access for people who are truly you know, in peril, uh, you know, it, it's such an important week. Um, and yes, you know, I, I, it, it, it was what you were saying. It seems benign, and if this is just it, that would be one thing. But we have to, you know, hold off the water that's coming. <laughs>